It's been three days since the last video, and in league terms, that's a long time. That means a ton of progress, though, has been made on furthering our magic build to try and rank. Sit back and enjoy this densely packed episode. Last episode, we started doing guaranteed TOA 500s with Rake and I managed to get the Osmontan's Fang on top of the Ward and the Light Bearer. All three very good items. The Shadow, though, eludes us, but we still continue on that TOA grind today and work towards the final relic, the Tier 8 Unlock. I went ahead and got 82 attack right away so we can use the Fang because there are some parts of TOA like Akka where I can't do damage with magic, so it'll be a big efficiency boost at TOA. I just did some AFK crabs when I was editing videos. I also did some Soul Wars and got myself to 70 prayer for piety to enhance my Fang's power. I totally forgot about these. I'm gonna add it to uh, the Mystics because honestly, I'm gonna main this for a while. So I don't know why I never added this. I've never actually used the, the Mystic ornament kits though. It's pretty sick. Start off the day with some Terry grinding. I still need one more relic. But I unlocked the medium Artie Diaries, which allows me to double my coin pouch limit, meaning I can AFK twice as long at any thieving spot. So that's really amazing. So I did a lot of paladins and I got a bunch of chaos runes and I sold that to the Tazar shop so I can buy myself an Onyx for 200 points. I plan on getting all the Xenites, especially the Torrents of Bracelet for my mage build. So that means we need to do a lot of thieving for chaos runes and money. So this will be super useful. Last video, I didn't get to show off my tier 7 relic in action as I unlocked that towards the very end. But I did Slayer for the Trine upgrade and was able to see how dumb broken Berserker is. Especially with magic. So Berserker has many effects. The most overpowered part is if you did the first quote unquote hit to an NPC with Berserker, that hit is guaranteed to land and it's your max. I quote a hit because if you're magic arranged, you can actually shoot multiple hits on a target and have it count as your first hit. The reason is because projectile attacks have a delay before reaching your target and only counts the first hit once the attack physically lands on the target. Magic by far has the longest delay overall out of any weapon, so if you're far enough away, you can actually get like three extra max hits per target. Whereas range, it varies a bit more. Sometimes it's like instant with blowpipe, sometimes it can be pretty slow depending on like your crossbow or something. This is disgusting as you will see, magic takes the most advantage though of this part of the Berserker Relic and it's an insane DPS increase for literally everything. And we haven't even talked about the other effect which is if you're lower HP, the stronger you get. So it's like a dark effect on top too. So back to Slayer, I got a bunch of clues and I figured we should try some clues, get some D high body or Runeful Helm for some points. But I totally forgot some steps are still not doable, so it's not really worth spamming them. So I just did one and I decided I'll do clues after they fix all those problems on Thursday, this Thursday. Anyways, we're now back at TOA. We are gunning for that shadow and going with our melee prodigy, Rixie, as usual. Uh, the thing, uh, we brought Brown Daggers just so we can lower some defense for free. Or Rixie's melee attacks mainly. Berserker absolutely melts the Baba Puzzle Room, so I can technically guarantee to kill them in 1 or 3 hits with Berserker, especially with lower HP. I like to stay around 60 hit points just because it's still pretty safe and I can do uh, more damage. Our TOAs have gone at least 5 to 10 minutes faster just because of execution. Rake C though is still stuck getting no fangs, so it can be a lot faster once he unlocks his BIS weapon at TOA as the melee build. Oh shit, Berserker just hits maxes only. <laughs> so the max hit permanent effect only works on the first core. I'm not exactly sure why, but on the second core, magic just still hits randomly. So it's still best to use DDS specs if you got it and then switch to your magic. No, I'm sorry, dude. It's just so common. They're just so common, man. <laughs> Here, let me use it on you, bro. Anyways, we clear 500 TOA though without dying, netting us the fan kit for crazy points. With that being said, I'm currently a lot stronger at TOA, so I am experimenting in ways to die in some of the early rooms so that by the end of the raid, we are closer to 50-50 for the purple. This does slow down my chance of getting purples, but it's not too bad. And in the long run, if Rake gets a fang, we can just do the raids even faster. So I think we will uh, actually benefit in the long run. 
Okay, so I'm at 4%, 4.3, and then when I die, I lose 1%. Okay, I lose one whole percent. Okay, yeah, please, don't don't give me a thing. I'll, I'll take Missouri or anything, dude. Just don't give me a thing. Okay. Okay, okay, yo, we're not trolling. We're not trolling Racy today. Yeah, dude, dude. okay, thank you. Yes, now I can wear this. Whoa, yes, dude. No more black DI. But I gotta replace my red DI body, though. Holy... Let's go. The gear set looks crazy right now. Oh my god. What the f <laughs> What the f yo? All right, I'm going to let's just reset. <laughs> oh, 99 hit points. Let's go. You guys might be wondering, wouldn't that negatively affect your overall chance of drops? Yes, if we die too many times. But one or two early deaths by me still nets us 25% points which means that forex drop is still 100% but once we hit tier 8 it's gonna be a lot easier because I can die even more if I have to too bad for Racy though he still needs a fang by the end of today's session anyways it's the next day and we are working on some tier 8 relic grinding always gotta make sure you're working on that tier upgrades we are going for execution by the way just because that relic is godly Berserk Relic, once again, went off for Slayer. Even things like Fight Caves took under 20 minutes to do, as I can pretty much one-shot uh, pretty much anything up to the healer, uh, the melee guy that heals. Oh, goodness. Holy shit. This is insane. Dude, take Barrage is so dumb. What oh, Missile Whip. Let's go. That's a task right there. Yes. I ended the night with red chins because I figured I should train Hunter and use the chins for my dust double task. 1800 total! That means last free call has no freaking cooldown. Let's freaking go. Next day, I sent dust devils in the Aussie world and I made the mistake of perf flicking with low HP. And I also forgot chins if you die uh, with chins, they disappear or rather they flee. And yeah, I hadn't used chins in a long time, so I kind of forgot about the risk. Rough start to the day, but I went back strong to catch more chins and got another 1,000. I needed 99 Hunter anyways for points. And the red chins, though, at Dust Devils was sick. I got over 3 million range XP an hour with the 60x multiplier thing. I will be getting more chins in the future just to get the 99 and also for 99 range. Also, I would use Ancients to finish off the leftover mob so I don't waste my chins. Finally, we reached 87 Slayer. So it was time to grab that Kraken task, thanks to our Bloodthirst Relic. We have plenty of points to skip tasks. We're gonna go for the 100 plus kills in one, one trip. And get this trident. Dude, I'm so cheating, dude. The freaking Berserk strat is disgusting. Brimstone key? Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick to Konar, man. Good shout, because... I w uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting Konar to draw Brimstone keys. That's pretty pretty big. Oh shit, 35 mil magic speed. I'm gonna switch over to defensive casting for all my magic from now on because I only have 15 mil magic speed left for the final task for points. Getting any more is pretty redundant, but my defense level is still not even 99, so there's still a lot of XP to get from defense. So that is probably for the best. Well, there we go. 50 combat achievements done and 100 tentacles. Oh my god, no way! I got two Kraken tentacles from regular Krakens on the first task. Instead of a trident. Well, I learned uh, my lesson, guys. Good tip. If you have the Slayer Relic, make sure you just increase the size of the task that you want to do. Just so you don't have to like keep going back and forth. Because you're going to get a lot of Slayer points. So, Where's the um, Kraken? There we go. Extend all these. I got points for days. Yes, we got it. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> All right, boys, we're going to do this because that's a task. And then I think we can dismantle it and get our tentacle back because eventually I want to get eight of these for the tentacle enhanced trident task. Oh, there it is. Yes, let's go. There it is, boys. Our new upgrade. Oh, yes. All right, we're going to do some TOA with our new item with our new trident we head back to toa 
Trident Unpod at 99 is 28 max hit versus Ice Brush at 30 max hit before Relics and any weird modifiers. I don't have to worry about the delay or the manual casting when I'm moving with the Trident just like the Warp Scepter. So it's definitely getting used way more now. Warp Scepter did a good job this past few days. So shout out to that weapon, but it is time to retire it. No, you're going too early, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I'm trying. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, bro. I'm trying. Yeah, the trying to delay sucks. 57? <laughs> well, it's because my HP is dumb low right now. I need to eat up, though. I don't know. Here we go. Oh, wait. I already have that. Oh, dupes. Berserker Relics is just too good at this room, man. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I'll take it. All right. I'm glad I'm glad it's not the Fang, dude. <laughs> Yo, we got an upgrade from the d high body, dude. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Honestly, I'll freaking take it. That's nice. All right. We're going to get everything but Shadow. And I guess Rexy one day will get his fame. One, one day, one day, one day, one day. I swear. It's in your name. Let's go. My death. My death, bro. My death worked. Oh my god, no. No way. Hey, congrats on full Missouri. That's points. The TOA has gone a bit faster with the Trident. And Rexy, though, is still fangless. I'm not sure how it's possible. It's like 35% chance to get a fang every purple. And I think he's gotten like six. So he should, in theory, have like two already, but yeah, he's just just unlucky, I guess. The whole day, there's no fang. Holy shit. <laughs> dude, this is insane. We're, we're just trying to give this man a, a freaking fang, dude. Like, well, let's do this task. Oh, man. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get him the fang tomorrow. Race is getting the fang tomorrow. Can you go inside? Can you go? In? I got it. The Mass of Rebirth. That's 200 points. Hell yeah. I've never done this before. Ever. So this is cool. Starting off our next day with the tier 8 relic grind. I had to dig deep and scour through every possible task for points. Make sure to go through the global and unlock section. Because for some reason they show different ones. And they can't be shown together. I missed out on some of them. Because I, only, I thought global just meant everything. But it doesn't include unlocked regions. The main ones I did this time were the Impling Task and the Artie Diaries. So the Impling Task was pretty good and I got the Dragon Impling Task done. I thought I got the Lucky Impling Task done too, but it turned out you have to do it barehanded. And god dang it, you know, I wish I actually committed to finishing 9900 because it requires 9900 to barehand. I freaking found 5 DMs, 2 Lucky Implings in like 5 minutes in 2 worlds. So don't know if I'll get another opportunity like that. Holy crap, that's one whole farming level insane and for the arty diaries i wanted to go for it not just because of points but because it lets me afk longer at thieving as the diary lets you double your rune pouch limit at medium and triples your pouch limit at hard meaning you double the afk or triple the afk the extra afk is super welcome because i do edit a lot and sometimes i gotta you're not gonna believe this go shower poop things like that eat and I can't be at the PC. So extended pickpocketing is probably the best super long AFK. Uh, I can do for money. I can get it for chaos rooms, for future shadow, onyx, for xenites. And of course, points. 50 mil thieving is points. I also learned that if you have Zaya, you should definitely do Konar for your Slayer assignments. Because on top of being assigned just like every other Slayer Master, you also get Brimstone Keys too on your tasks, which the other Masters don't. And the brimstone keys are insane because you get a bunch of good resources like magic logs or essence that's what i got in my first two keys and those are all really really good freaking like five thousand persons holy shit that's easy rune crafting but yeah you get a bunch of other stuff too like ores so definitely do that for your slayer grind i got some dragon stone though from the imps so i figure we get 80 crafting real fast too at alcura gym shop and get my glory also been doing my daily soul wars for 1 mil for XP. It's probably the best way to train that skill. I use the FC called CG Space Leagues. And they run more efficient soul wars games. But do follow their rules of no PvP please if you're joining them. Holy shit. I got 400 points. Oh my god. This is so much nicer than uh, the normal world. Oh you have to log out I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay there we go. 
Ah, uh, right. But yeah, shout out to Boy Legion for. Uh, apparently, the Gal tubers are super easy to find now because they fixed it. A bunch of random tasks later, I was finally one task off from Cure a Relic. But you, you gotta like, you gotta use the price checker or something. I don't understand. How do you, how are you supposed to know it through the, uh... Oh, what? It works. <laughs> what the hell? That's so scuffed, man. What the hell's going on with that? It's definitely something that should be notable, but... There you go. That's done. We can save these for another day. Ah, oh, there it is. 100 pies. Huggers. Oh. Well, technically, uh, I could just go get the Inferno Cape right now, but I think I'm just going to finish the task. I'm already here. All right. Well, it's time to finally do the Inferno. A little bit late. Our gear is still not that insane. We're just rocking Trident mostly. I'm still Mystics and, uh, yeah. Whatever. No Occult. No Tormented. Screw it. We should be fine. Uh, at least with Banker Snows and a lot of Prayer Pots, I do feel very comfortable. And we also have Berserker. I just think just the Relics alone, like be fine so let's send it get this inferno cape and get this tier 8 all at the same time i decided it was time to send the inferno and get the cape because that's 400 points and the best in slot cape honestly with the berserk relic and magic combo the waves were pretty chill most of the lower mobs like bats and blobs and mega guys were evaporated with one or two shots every single time and if you're thinking about learning Inferno with magic, it's definitely learnable for new players in this league. Damn. <laughs> We're just going to one-shot everything. Oh my god, these blobs are not even going to matter. <clears throat> Alright, mage face time. I think my HP above 70 the whole time. But damn, only 14 minutes in and we already made it there. Alright, next one is the hardest normal wave. So hopefully, uh... We're good. Ouch. Oops. Uh, whatever. It's kind of cheesable, so. Alright. That was a little bit scuffed. Yeah, Alright, so we basically clear the hardest wave outside of Zuck. Uh, and it's only been like 37, 38 minutes, so it's pretty insane with execution, that's for sure. Nice, just freeze the freaking, uh, healers and they can't even touch you. However, Zug is still decently challenging because with the Trident, I still splashed a ton. And also you attack very, very quickly, so that means you have to constantly move along with the shield and try to click on Zug every 1.2 seconds. And remember, there are dead spots near the sides that's between the edges and the middle that will drag you if you try to hit from there so be careful of that because during enrage phase if you get dragged out the shield trying to hit and be greedy you can still get hit because the middle safe spots don't work anymore during enrage i failed the first zug because i wasn't sure if the trans attack range was good enough on the sides to not get dragged so i went with the ancient manual casting and the animation delay tricked me into thinking i was standing on the safe spot the right side works with long range trident as I later learned, but I still use ancients on the left side because I didn't really get to experiment and figure that out and I didn't want to find out because I just wanted the cape. But yeah, I use ancient manual on the left in case because regular spells can reach one tile further than tridents. But this side is not safe. I believe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to risk it. So, we're not going to risk it. Alright, I definitely recommend uh, getting... Definitely getting better gear. Because this is a lot... Uh, actually, a bit more challenging than I thought. It's just suck. Suck is challenging. Did we do it? Aw, oh, just, just to be safe. There we go. I think we got this. Oh, boy. There we go. Only two tries, I guess. Only two tries, so... And we, we did in 51 minutes, so that's not bad. Inferno speed, no luck required, and everybody's gone. And put on the Inferno Cape. Look at this, look at what happens. Unlock new tier! Wait! It's not popping up yet because we have like six different things. Appreciate y'all. Ooh, there it is. Tier 8 unlock, let's go. <laughs> and finally, we are done with all our... 
points for the relics, not for giant rank, of course. We chose execution as our last relic because it simply just erases an enemy if I throw the axe at it when it is under 20% life. This works pretty much on any enemy and even bosses. We will go over this incredibly godly relic in the next episode as I only managed to use it at TOA so far and it's incredible how OP it is at TOA. Skipping and Rage Wardens for example was massive but again we will use it like everywhere in the next video probably. All right I think we're good. Hex time! Boom! Whoa! Damn! You do get the XP for it. <laughs> what the hell? I gained so much XP. <laughs> XP. <laughs> I might not even need chins in 99 range, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> Yo, that was insane. <laughs> now I... Oh, well, actually, yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, yeah. It's still, it's still technically 20%. Anyways, boys, we're here now at the end of the relics grind, but not the end of the points grind. We still have many upgrades to go for the magic build and many tasks to do for Dragon Rank. Hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave that like and subscribe too. All right, don't, don't forget about that. And click that bell too. To not miss out on the next adventure. Thanks and see y'all soon.